What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. I am back again with my weekly NFL predictions. For those who are new to the channel, I provide insight and predictions for every single game, every single week, and identify potential upsets on a week-to-week -week basis. So without further ado, let's hop into my week 10 predictions. Thursday night football, Cincinnati Bengals versus the Baltimore Ravens. The Bengals finally got their first win at home over the Raiders, and the Baltimore Ravens put up a 40-piece on the Denver Broncos. If there is one game that I really believe that the Bengals need to win to keep their season alive, it's this one. At home, Evan McPherson missed a field goal that could have beaten the Baltimore Ravens at home. Nice divisional classic, uh, divisional game, AFC North. The Baltimore Ravens faced Bo Nix, rookie quarterback. Now they're going from a rookie quarterback playing one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL right now in which Joe Burrow threw five touchdown passes on the Raiders. The one concern I have about the Ravens is their pass defense. I feel like they won't be able to stop Joe Burrow. It doesn't matter. Give me the Baltimore Ravens money line. The fact that they scored 40 points on one of the most elite defenses in the NFL. Lamar Jackson had a perfect passer rating against this Broncos defense. This Ravens offense is firing on all cylinders and it's Thursday prime time football you really think i could go against lamar jackson when the lights are shining bright i don't think so give me the baltimore ravens money line and i think this is a game where lamar jackson proves his mvp case new york giants versus the carolina panthers the new york giants lost to the commanders and the panthers get their w against the new orleans saints Zero input in this game. Don't understand why we have to do Germany like that, sending off these two teams for a football game in Germany. But no input. I probably won't be watching this game. But give me the New York Giants money line. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Washington Commanders. The Steelers are coming off their bye. And the Commanders got a nice victory at MetLife Stadium over the New York Giants. This is going to be a tough game for me. I feel like both teams have been very solid this season. Both have winning records. Um, the Commanders are undefeated at home. But if you look at those home wins, a lot of those home wins came, three of them came against subpar teams. And one of them came on a Hail Mary against the Chicago Bears. The Steelers, since 2022, Mike Tomlin, the Pittsburgh Steelers have the most away underdog wins. Um, but, but give me the Steelers money line. I like the upset here. Russell Wilson has the Steelers offense clicking. Yes, they defeated the Jets and the Giants, but I just feel like I like the Steelers in this position. I feel like the Commanders are riding high from their from their season right now, but I feel like the Steelers are a very gritty team. I like how this offense is looking with Russell Wilson, and I think the defense make big plays to stop the Commanders. Give me the Steelers upset over the Commanders. New England Patriots versus Chicago Bears. The Patriots lose to the Titans, and the Bears lose on the road against the Arizona Cardinals. Look, from what, from how I view the Chicago Bears, they're just a team that dominates at home against subpar teams. That's the way I view them right now. They've yet to win on the road. They've yet to be a team at 500 or over. That kind of applies in the situation. Chicago Bears are at home playing against a subpar team like the Patriots. Give me the easy W for the Chicago Bears. Bears money line. I think they, beat, they defeat the Patriots by two touchdowns. Give me the Bears money line. Atlanta Falcons versus the New Orleans Saints. The Falcons defeated the Dallas Cowboys, and the Saints lose to the Carolina Panthers. The Saints are on a seven-game losing streak and lost to the Panthers. You think I'm going to pick them? Give me the Atlanta Falcons money line. I don't see a way of the Saints team Beating the Falcons, yes. I understand it's a divisional matchup. Divisional matchups, anything can happen, right? Underdogs can beat the favorites. Don't see it here. Head coach got fired. The Saints are probably sellers at this point. This team really needs a fresh rebuild. This team came. Their Super Bowl was week two against the Dallas Cowboys, and everything has gone downhill. So the Saints have turned to the Aints because I ain't picking them right now. Give me the Atlanta Falcons money line. Denver Broncos versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The Denver Broncos lose to the Baltimore Ravens, and the Chiefs are coming off their Monday night game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think this will be a very low-scoring game. I don't think the Chiefs will put up 40 on this Denver Broncos defense, and I don't 
think that I can see the Broncos defeating the Chiefs at home. So give me the Chiefs money line within their last 13, 14 meetings. The Chiefs are 12 and 1, 13 and 1, I believe. And um, I think this is a game where the Chiefs defense will carry a lot of the load since the offense hasn't been that explosive consistently during the season, even though this is a solid Broncos defense. But give me the Chiefs at home. I think this, the defense make big plays to put the offense in the best position to score. Give me the Chiefs money line against the Denver Broncos. But this game is close. I think it comes down to within a touchdown. Buffalo Bills versus the Indianapolis Colts. The Bills win at home against the Miami Dolphins, and the Colts lose against the Minnesota Vikings. I think this game is going to come down to who has the best running game. Give me the Buffalo Bills. They defeat the Colts. Um, I just feel like the Bills are just firing on all cylinders. They've been very hot. They're leading their division right now, and I don't see a team, especially the Colts, stopping this Bills team that's humming right now. Probably the Ravens, but in this matchup, I do not see the Colts being the Bills. Give me the Bills money line. San Francisco 49ers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The 49ers are coming off their most recent win against the Dallas Cowboys, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are coming off their Monday night game against the Kansas City Chiefs. This is up in the air if CMC is going to play this week. Um, he might, but it will definitely be split carries. But give me the 49ers. Very hard to choose this Buccaneers team without Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Um, and I think the 49ers find a way to not only beat this Buccaneers team by a touchdown, but I think the 49ers start to get things rolling and clicking before the season ends, which is in the next few weeks. So I think the 49ers prove a statement in this game. Give me the 49ers money line. Minnesota Vikings versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Vikings defeated the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars lose to the Philadelphia Eagles. Give me the Minnesota Vikings money line. I do not see an upset here. I can see Lawrence probably tossing one to three picks this game. Um, I don't see how he can handle this Brian Flores defense, nor do I see this Jaguars defense stopping Justin Jefferson. I can see a hundred receiving yards and two touchdowns in this game. Give me the Minnesota Vikings over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tennessee Titans versus the LA Chargers. The Titans defeated the Patriots and the Chargers defeated the Cleveland Browns. I think this will be a very low scoring game. Even though the Titans are a bad team, their defense is a bit stout from certain metrics. From certain metrics. Um, but give me the Chargers money line. I just feel like the Chargers are just been a very quality team this year. One of the top offensive linemen groups in the NFL. They went in the trenches and the defense has been really solid. So I like the Chargers in this game to defeat the Titans. Don't see a huge upset here. So give me the Chargers money line. Next up, we have the Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Dallas Cowboys lost to the Atlanta Falcons and the Philadelphia Eagles defeated the Jacksonville Jaguars. I understand this is a divisional matchup, but give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line. There is no way that I trust this Dallas Cowboys team. The Cowboys suck. Even Dak Prescott said it. And with Dak being out for a few weeks with his hamstring injury, and if CeeDee Lamb does play and takes one bad hit to the shoulder, he's probably gone for the game. But this is the Saquon Barkley game. I do expect him to get at least three touchdowns this three touchdowns this game and i just think that the eagles will run the ball all over the cowboys in this game so give me the philadelphia eagles money line barkley with three touchdowns that i'm predicting in this game new york jets versus the arizona cardinals the jets are finally coming off their win after a nice losing streak um and then the cardinals got a nice win against the chicago bears at home look i understand the jets got a nice w on Thursday night against the Houston Texans, that team was really banged up with injuries. So kind of take that win with a grain of salt. And the Cardinals are on a nice winning streak. They defeated the Chicago Bears. They defeated the Miami Dolphins. So they've been on a nice winning streak so far. But give me the Arizona Cardinals. In the last five games, they are 4-1. and one. This team's been very hot. They're very gritty. I need to see a little bit more of the Jets for me to buy into them right now. But this Cardinals team... They're actually number one in their division. So four and one in their last five games, leading their division. Very gritty, very tough, nice winning streak. I like them with a slight edge over the New York Jets. So give me the Cardinals money line. Detroit Lions versus the Houston Texans. The Lions defeated the Green Bay Packers, and the Texans lose to the New York Jets. 
If there is one belt to ask matchup right now, I think it's the Lions defeating the Houston Texans. So give me the Texans, give me the Lions money line over the Houston Texans. This Texans team is very banged up. Yes, I do understand that there's a possibility of Nico Collins coming in this game, but you really can't go against the Lions who've been just steamrolling teams the past few weeks. And I really don't see the Texans being that team to stop them. Um, I see a game where the Lions are just grounding, pounding with Montgomery, Gibbs, and then Jared Goff goes 21 for 21 with 150 yards and two touchdowns, and they still win. Give me the Detroit Lions money line. And the Miami Dolphins, at first the LA Rams. The Miami Dolphins lose to the Buffalo Bills, and the Rams are coming off a nice divisional victory over the Seattle Seahawks. This is going to be a very tough game. Um, the Dolphins are on a losing streak. The Rams are on a winning streak. The Rams are coming back home. I will probably go upset. Give me the Miami Dolphins over the LA Rams. I find it very hard to believe that Tua will lose three straight with the Miami Dolphins. Um, They've scored 27 points within the past two games, and their average losing margin is about two points. So it's pretty, and they've lost to divisional for, for teams first in their division, the Cardinals and the Bills. So it's more so close, but no cigar situation for the Dolphins. And the Rams are riding high off that Vikings victory, riding high off that overtime victory of the Seahawks. But I think the Dolphins finally snapped this losing streak, and I don't see two on this Dolphins team losing three straight. Give me the upset on Monday night, Miami Dolphins over the LA Rams. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your Week 10 NFL picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.